Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla and I am here for my week 13 postpartum weight loss and mental health journey. If you guys are new here, I will leave the full playlist up here. I have literally done one of these results recaps every single week for the past 13 weeks, which is just nuts. I cannot believe how fast the time is going, but that's what they say when you have a child. So I'm gonna jump right in and talk to you about the results. And this week I lost 1.1 pound or something of a kg. I can't remember what it was, but I think most of you know what pounds are. I think it's half a kg. So there we are anyway. Um, so yeah, 1.1 pounds down. I am on the cusp of the 10 stone mark, which is a little bit annoying, but um, I my goal is to be 10 stone seven. For those of you who are outside of the UK and Ireland, that's 147 pounds or 66.6 66 .6 kg, I believe. I'm going for that number because, you know, in me. Uh, so I am currently 11 stone like on the button so uh, hopefully now next week I will shift a little bit more and we'll get into the 10 stone bracket and then that's it. Once I'm in the 10 stone bracket there's no more brackets that I'm looking for. We're, we're in, I'm at 70 kg, 70 point kg exactly as well so yeah, we'll be in the 60s and we will be in the 10s for the stone. So, hallelujah, we're getting there. We're working towards it. Um, I'm halfway through, I'm just over halfway through in week six now, the Body Slims program, which has been fantastic. It's just really keeping my head in the game and, and keeping me locked in, definitely. This week, the last week, how have I been feeling? I have to say, still exhausted completely exhausted probably even more tired than I have been the last few weeks but I'm a high functioning tired person thanks to my friend Coffee. somebody asked in my Q&A how do I keep it all going anyway um I've been feeling really tired but I don't want to keep harping on about being tired because I am the mother of a newborn and I am doing an awful lot of stuff and I don't sit down uh, so I have been feeling wrecked however I've been feeling pretty good mentally. I've been feeling really positive, which is fantastic. I feel really motivated by my own success. Um, and that's something, it's been an interesting little like, I've had a lot of dreams the last week um, of putting weight back on again. Um, and that's really interesting to me that either I've thought that it was a, a, a dream um, that my whole weight loss was a dream and that actually was still overweight and then I had another dream that I thought I had lost weight but it was just a mental breakdown and that I couldn't see myself anymore almost like a shallow hell you know that movie that terrible movie which would never be allowed to be made now with Gwyneth Paltrow where he couldn't see that she was overweight it was like that but for myself I couldn't see that I was overweight and it's interesting I don't know why that does, I don't want to harp on and do a dream analysis with you, but there's some kind of feeling within me that you know that I didn't do it. And it, I think it's not even change blindness. It's just like, I have to realize that this is me, but I do not in any way identify with the previous me. I'll leave a picture here. Um, you know, I don't, I can't believe that was ever me. So there, it's it's very difficult to really, I, it's hard to explain and maybe I should leave it for a coffee with Carla because yeah I think I'll maybe leave it for a coffee with Carla I'm sorry to like start talking but I need to kind of work this out a bit more in my head I did have a really interesting non-scale victory that I didn't expect to have uh, during the week I went to the dentist on Friday my tooth had been kind of giving me a bit of jip and I was like I need to go and it's really hard to get a dentist here in Ireland at the moment because of the pandemic, everybody, you know, didn't go and now everybody wants to go and I don't have a dentist that I liked or I didn't have a dentist that I liked because mine ripped me off royally. But anyway, that's a different story. Uh, and I went to the, I and managed to get an appointment and it was like 45 minutes after I looked online and they had an appointment. I was like, fine, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna do it. 
So when I sat down on my new dentist, I had to fill in a, like an iPad full of my medical history. And it was so interesting to put down the, like if I answered that three years ago, it would have been completely different, completely different. So like the first question was, uh, do you eat a lot of sugary foods? Nope. Do you smoke? Nope. How many, well, I quit smoking six years ago, but uh, do, how many units of alcohol do I drink a week? Zero. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like, this is really, like, I, like, how is your diet overall? And I was like, excellent. Like, what's your exercise like? It's pretty damn good. Like, the WHO recommends 150 minutes of exercise, of medium intensity exercise per week. And I do between 300 and 350 minutes a week minimum which is mad like when you realize that you're not like obviously I look completely different to that person but everything is so different everything is so so different and I, I have to remind myself sometimes that I did that you know um that I've changed every single aspect of my life that's it's kind of crazy that was a, a little observation for last week. So we, yeah, but I'm feeling overall really positive because I'm seeing those different changes. Like there's a couple of things, you know, that I've experienced in my life recently that would have been very, very different and difficult for me in the past. And I think I might do a full video on this, but like there are so many things and I do call them non-scale victories and sometimes, but I think they're, they're even more, they're nothing to do with the scales at all. I think I'm gonna do a full video on that. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that full video. I know, I'm sorry, I'm a bit all over the place today. There's a lot of realizations going on for me because when I hit goal last year, I was only at goal for a very, very small amount of time in maintenance before I became pregnant. My first mode was an overweight person, then I was a person losing weight, well I was constantly one of the other, uh, and, but achieving that. And then I was a person who's lost weight at a um, at goal in maintenance, and then I became a pregnant person, and then I've become a mom. And I'm not saying that they, all of those are mutually exclusive, of course, like, but it's just that's the kind of way I'm seeing like my mode at the time um, and what's kind of the number of the top thing so at the moment I like I'm so close to goal now I'm what seven pounds away from goal now and like I don't want to say if I didn't reach goal I'd be happy like I I'm carrying more weight around my mid area than I was previously and around my boobs that's to do with having a baby it definitely changes but I know that when you get this close to your goal there is a massive difference in like one or two pounds it, it's like a physical difference a visual difference so I want to see what I look like at the 147 um I would not like to lose any more weight from like here up and I'm fine with my boobs and um, like from my waist up I would not like to lose any more weight but that's not how it works and I'm gonna do a video as well sorry this is like a bit more of a like a uh, Carla's chaos, isn't it? Because it's like, what's happening in my brain? I'm gonna do a video as well on how I'm deciding what my weight goal is. That's really interesting. That's a weird, weird thing. Like for somebody who's been overweight their whole life, it's very strange to then be like, okay, now I have to stop losing weight. Nuts, I'm gonna talk about that. Anyway, this week, so, this week I know in coming into it now with body slims is the challenge week, uh, challenge two weeks where basically you um, clean out your diet. Um, I won't go into it, I won't ruin it for anybody, but um, I do have a very, very busy social weekend ahead of me, an incredibly busy social weekend ahead of me. So one of my best friends, Kirsty, is coming from London she is staying, she's not staying with us, but she's basically with us the whole time from tomorrow till Sunday. And we're going out for dinner Friday night and we'll probably have to have lunch out on Saturday. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to navigate that. She's also on a weight loss journey, so it should be easier. 
um, and then we're going to go for drinks to a non-alcoholic bar and this will be my very very first time out since the pandemic at night time which is crazy and um, I have not been out obviously I was pandemic pregnant mother like and the thought of going out honestly is not overly appealing but there's a part of me really wants to go out but I also don't drink anymore so yeah it's all gonna be very interesting so I might do a little recap on how that went um for you guys next week um and I might vlog a little bit of it if she would be up for that um I'm gonna end this rambling of my brain now if you've made it this far um let's see what can we oh let me leave me a skull emoji because my mug as um, Victorians with skulls on them. Um, and uh, I will, I'll speak to you next week. I'm sorry, I'm so all over the place today. What's happening to me? Anyway, thank you guys. Please make sure you are subscribed. Um, like this video if you do like it, if you've made it to the end of this rant. Um, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I'm also much more active on TikTok at the moment, which is probably why I'm so tired, just because I'm overstretching myself completely. But you know, that that's who I am. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. I'll love you and leave you. Finally, stop talking, Carla. Finish the video. Bye, guys. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you my outfit of the day uh, because I didn't show it to you properly. Sorry, I look here. I didn't show it to you properly um, the last couple of times and you guys have been requesting it. So I haven't got my shoes on yet, but I just thought I'd show you my dress, which is my favorite dress. Um, it has, it's like a paisley print. Can you see that? Um, and I, it's from Miss Selfridge from last year. Uh, and I just absolutely love it. It's a size 10 and I did not want to try it on this morning because I didn't want to try it on in case it didn't fit and it does fit. So um, that's really wonderful. So there is my, my outfit of the day uh, with some nudie tights and I think I'll put on some thigh high boots shortly. Hello, lipstick is Lolita by Cafanti eyeshadow is a Catrice palette, which was like five euro. Anyway. And I have not checked to see what my results are. I have completely forgotten. So let me go have a look like that, like how many, um, sorry, I have to crack my back. Oh, I can't wait to go for a massage today. Oh, my back. Um, yeah, 